Alright, well, I'm back, and well, as we're nearing the 10th of January, where the open battle will be closed, I decided to take a look at some ships that I kinda like to play, and well, I will start with the classic and well-known Rifter. Now, this little ship is one of the iconic ships of EVE Online and well, pretty much EVE Echoes. Pretty much, it's the ship that we all, we all know, like, those players who play EVE Online pretty much know about this ship. It's one of those ships that are pretty versatile, that are pretty, actually pretty decent, and well, they can be, they can be really deadly when they're built right. Now, um, in this current game, uh, we have a variety of frigates, and well, this ship is kind of different from the from the PC version uh, of the same ship or on Eve Online on the original game. And well, you can see we have a couple frigates here, uh, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, and tier 4, and of course we have the specialized frigates, uh, tier 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 9, and 10. And Rifter is sitting on the tier 2 uh, level, uh, is one of the cheapest ships around, um, Is not, it's not the cheapest, but still, is one of the cheapest ships that you can buy. And well, um, there are some things that this ship does lack. Um, one of them being the medium slots, it doesn't have any, which if you ask me sucks big f a big fucking time since I, back in the original EVE on EVE Online, um, I did use this ship for PvP a lot since it's cheap and it's really effective. 5% spell projectile turret per skill and 5% velocity per skill level. 2 high, uh, 3 low slots. Um, well, um, it's not... Too bad, uh, but I dislike that they did not give any medium slots on on this ship. Uh, if you ask me, that really sucks, and it really takes away from the from the beautiful nature of this ship's. Um, I, I, I guess from this ship's actual value in the actual PC game, since this ship is really deadly in the PC version of the game, can be really deadly in good hands. Now let me show my fittings here. Um, I'm using artillery on this ship since close range in this game is not working properly so far. MK3 280mm howitzers, uh, pretty affordable gear. And well, it will be there to. Well, I, I can just fit like a Republic fleet um, guns, but it will not be accurate representation of let's say early stages of the game, since not uh, well, you're not you're gonna you're not gonna start with Republic fleet uh, equipment. MK5 1 MN afterburner, uh, MK3 small shield booster, and well, uh, I did I put a MK7 uh, shield hardener. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, this is pretty much a active shield tank, um, some sorts. This is the power grid. Uh, no CPU on this. I guess they made it a bit easier, which kind of sucks. I like the I like the difficulty of uh, the difficultness of this game, and surprisingly no rigs which sucks again uh, since rigs no rigs and no medium slots take away from the ship a lot defense well this is the shield no em resistance thermal resistance kind of all right kinetic resistance is maximum on the shield and on the hull everything is pretty much balanced on the armor also pretty much balanced the em resistance being the highest while the thermal and kinetic is lowest and this is the capacitor one minute and eight seconds when all modules are actually working but during most of the time you will you will have infinite um, I guess infinite capacitor since I don't use all modules um, at once since I pretty much don't have to and well uh, ignore the mod ignore these modules uh, I forgot to empty my cargo and well that's the basic stuff for this little ship now you can fit it with auto cannons um, it will work for close range but the game's uh, orbiting kind of does not work properly and the ship will just auto orbit at 10 kilometers or at 5 kilometers way above the fall off range of the auto cannons so i did put um, artillery on this little on this little deadly ship and well i just noticed this cargo container let me just loot it if i can maybe maybe i can maybe i can't i don't know we will see we we, we are just we're about to find out <laughs> and all right um, oh come on zero point oh got, got fucked game <laughs> Um, it's nothing like those materials aren't so much important. Well, well, um, let's see how this little ship actually behaves in in combat. Now there is a certain thing when, for example, when you when you want to do some PvP, for example, um, this ship uh, in Eve Echoes um, it can be a I guess a support ship. Like, oh, look at the guns! Look at the guns! Looking at the at the container. Uh, that's gonna 
I will say that's kind of cute, <laughs> since this ship is kind of cute itself, but alright, that's a tema for another video. So for, for PvP, um, I pretty much didn't do any PvP with this ship. Uh, you might ask yourself why? Well, in EVE Online um, you can fit a Warp Scramble, you can fit a Stadius Webifer and you can fit like, you can fit all these modules that you kinda need for PvP. In EVE Echoes, however, um, you can't fit any uh, any medium slots on, on this on this little ship and therefore the enemies can actually, or targets will actually warp off um, will actually warp off from time to time or well in most cases um, always and that's because you cannot fit any well any warp disruptors on this thing and well uh, then you give your then you give them the advantage for them to just warp off so for PvP, this ship, um, as a solo PvP, for example, for for solo PvP, is not a well, a good choice. At least in Eve Echoes. In Eve Online, that's a different story. In Eve Online, you can use this ship for PvP with ease. You have rigs, you have like medium slots and such, and I think the bonuses are actually even better. So for PvP, in Eve Echoes, this ship, nope. Uh, for a in a fleet, it can work, but solo, no. Just it's it's not worth it. Like, uh, and they will just warp off before you can actually kill them, since well, you cannot prevent them from warping. For mission ho for missions, however, this little ship can be quite good. Now you could see me not being able to find any any proper combat missions. This is the only combat mission that I have found, and. Uh, auto cannons might work uh, if you have like good uh, shield buff modules and good shield buffs and well, shield, uh, good shield I guess booster. But the overall, the overall tier two ranking of this little ship prevents you from using its full potential I guess, since the higher tier ships will have better tracking, will have better I guess equipment. They they will be physically more stronger than than this ship can handle, and well. Uh, this ship's limit is around, I guess, tier 4, um, that's uh, where the ship's uh, shield will start to give up, and above tier 4 I would not recommend that, that you do any, any missions or any anomalies. Now with good modules you can theoretically go above like the tier 5 in this game, like the, if the enemy is like tier 5 and if you have good modules you can actually, you can actually survive, but uh, on an early game, this ship will be limited to like tier two, tier three, maximum tier four, and well, uh, if of, of course if you have good modules, that can be expanded, but it can be kind of risky, since there is no way, there is no rig, like this ship does not have any rigs, and you cannot increase the resistances uh, with rigs since you cannot fit them, so that means you need to use like your low slots for uh, for like shield well shield hardeners that I have for for example now to increase and well you cannot increase them for a for a huge amount of numbers since well this game does have its limits unfortunately and well uh, this is a uh, well level two mission I guess tier two mission I don't know I did not even look at the at the ranking of the mission. But in this case, in this scenario, this ship does kind of work really good. Oh, this is, well, I guess, they meant it to be a starter ship, even though, even though in the PC version of the game, this little thing is deadly. Um, there is a reason why the why one of the old memes of Eve Online are are out there. When I forgot, I just put it on screen, so you might get what I think. But in the PC version of this game, this little ship dominates, like. In the PC version of the game, this little ship can be can be quite can be quite effective for its price. But here, I guess they have meant it to be something of a I guess newbie ship, like early start. And well, we will see. Maybe that will change in the future. I don't know. I really hope that they add more modules to this little thing, since um, I kind of do miss the old school PvP that I've been doing on the on the PC account back in the day um, those were the days I can tell you that that was fun and it still is fun it's just that so many things have changed and well um, now uh, for PvP uh, for PvP specific um, the strongest uh, at least the strongest frigate would be the worm that little fucking thing has 400% damage on drones and 400% on uh, I guess 
if I remember correctly, it's light threats. I'm not quite sure. Either that or speed or, or warp scramble, but that little thing is the deadliest PvP frigate. And when the time comes, I will get that ship uh, since the battle is coming to an end and there is no way I can get enough money for, for that ship in in such a short amount of time. So for now I'll stick with these little little frigates. And the mission is done, as you can see, really smoothly. Now to put this little ship to, I guess, um, harder use. Uh, I will do a couple anomalies. Now luckily here I have some level 3 anomalies. Um, I'll say that I did scout the systems, I went to low sec and for some reason I could not find a zero, uh, I could not find a level 4 mission or anomaly and I could not find a, well, pretty much higher than level 3. So I guess the game knows and the game automatically caps the difficulties which sucks I guess since I cannot test the full potential of this little thing. But well, uh, we will see in a level 2 anomaly how this little thing will perform. Now I will warp to to the position where I did find some good anomalies and well, over there uh, we will see how this little thing will perform. Now um, things would things can be quite difficult when your enemies are Amar since pretty much they use the Thrubble and EM uh, damage type and they can pretty much melt the shield since you have like zero resistance on well zero on EM and like 10 or 25 on on uh, thermal and in those cases you wanna you would definitely want to have at least some sort of a shield hardener to at least give some percent of of, of resistance and that's where this ship kinda can fall short I guess but when you're fighting Mimitar and other um, well I guess other factions that pretty much use like kinetic or well uh, explosive then you can actually do some then this ship can actually shine since you have high kinetic and uh, you have high kinetic and the other resistance high buffs on, on them and all right well um kinetic and fucking explosive i i kind of keep forgetting how they're called <laughs> for some reason all right well um now here the game still kind of the server of the game is still kind of laggy for some reason and that that can be kind of quite uh, difficult at times since you will see me struggling to make the ship orbit in some of the f incoming anomalies um, it's literally up to the server sometimes the game will not give you the option to orbit immediately so um, my internet is fine everything here is fine it's just the game is I don't know if it's crowded or if it's just the servers are kinda kinda running low on fumes but there is there is the, there is definitely a server lag going on in the game and hopefully the next beta will fix that um, we will see. Okay, um, that was a false step. Um, you have this silos order, and well, you cannot, st you still cannot lock them. If you played the PC version of the game back in the day, you would shoot these silos in the hopes of getting some good items, <laughs> and those were the, those were the good old times. All right, well, as you can see, uh, they're using rockets. I believe that's explosive damage, and well, uh, ship is holding out pretty good. Uh, did use the shield booster a couple of seconds like two or three cycles will, will pretty much fix the shield really quickly and Cap is stable thankfully and Okay, well um, One more trasher left and a trasher using Mesa. I still try and I'm just still trying to get over that like <laughs> what the fuck a trasher should use projectile based weapons not fucking missiles, but all right, hopefully they will note that since this is rather weird, at least for me who played, who plays the PC version of the game, or at least who played since my PC. My PC is kind of incapable at the moment, so I cannot play any PC games, unfortunately. Alright, um, spawned in more. And I will try to find, and I think I did find a, a large anomaly, at least level 3. And we will see how this little ship will work there. Now, I'm sure it will hold out, and I will try to get in the range of their weapons, just, just to see how much damage they can do to me. But, it's safe for me, it's safe for me to say, if they used um, weapons that do the other damage types that this ship is not uh, so resi resistant against, this ship would be melted. Um, not melted uh, really fast, but you would have to warp out probably. 
but against these enemies and their weapons, um, this ship is holding out quite, quite good. And I think I just noticed that I forgot to put on the, I forgot to activate the shield, uh, the shield hardener. Yeah, I know, I suck. <laughs> happens, it happens to everyone. I just noticed that it's not working, even though I tried to turn it on, but it doesn't work. Yikes! Well, I, I guess it happens. All right, um, Geist probe left. All right, that's a frigate. And oh come on, he could uh, he could just hit that trasher for one, one more time. And yeah, there we go. He's out. 13 HP left. That's what they call bad luck. Imagine if that happens in PvP. That would suck. Even though it happened to me <laughs> a couple times in this game. Okay, well now. Uh, there are other other alternative builds that you can put with this ship. Now, of course, um, on the PC version of the game, I would go for passive shields. Uh, I would focus on the DPS while leaving the shield be passive. But in this game, uh, I think there are no passive modules yet, so passive shield tanking is not an option. Uh, however, you can fit a gyro stabilizer for the for the weapon increasement for the damage to increase the damage. And, well, nanofibers always looking good, if they are in the game, I'm not sure they are, but nanofibers would be a good, a good choice for speed. It will increase your speed, and, but, it will, but it will reduce your, your hull, and that's always an option, if those modules are available at, at the moment. Uh, two gyro, gyro stabilizers would be, would be good. Now, uh, you can fit a damage control if you decide to go to pvp even though i don't recommend that you go pvp with this ship in this game in eve echoes that is in eve online you can um, a damage control is is good uh, if you are in a fleet in this in eve echoes if you are in a fleet you, uh, the damage control will, will increase your resistances and well it is really useful and can be used for missions also uh, something that just popped up in my mind uh, i can theoretically fit a damage control in this ship and i would have more resistances but it doesn't affect the shield only I, if i remember correctly in this game it affects only the structure and armor not the shield so for armor tanking yeah it can be it can be used for armor tanking you can go actually full armor tank if you like um with this ship but you will sacrifice the you will sacrifice the dps and in my case um i am a shield well somewhat of a shield tank i guess but it's not perfect it's why it's actually not even perfect but it's it works and this is what i came up with the current sta uh, status of the modules in this game and uh, for the for the slots in this game also and like i said before not the fan of the module system in this world in this game not the fan of the slots that we have uh, they should there should be more slots um, like in the pc version of the game since this ship like i said can be really deadly and really nasty when in the in the right hands and it's really cheap so if you lose it you will not cry a river <laughs> um I'd rather lose a Rifter than I than I lose a Jaguar, for example. I don't know. All right. Well, let me just loot this real quick. Uh, also, when we are on the theme of looting, uh, this ship doesn't have much cargo, and uh, transport missions are a big no-no for this ship. Uh, its cargo is like 200 uh, square meters, I believe, and that's 250 square meters, and that's not much for for any, uh, I guess, more serious. Uh, missions or for any more for any serious cargo missions and uh, yeah this ship is just a big no-no for transport missions uh, but it's fast uh, I'll give them that this little thing is fast and uh, speed tank is again uh, one of the one of the options now I'm not quite sure uh, if they did implement that from the origin original game I think they did, but I'm not quite sure since I did not notice on missiles it works. Not sure on projectile based weapons if it works or, or laser weapons. Uh, but um, if you're actually moving fast enough, you can actually outrun some of the missile missiles. And that's a good thing um, since Kaldari will cry. <laughs> if you're faster than their missiles, they cannot hit you. And you can pretty much um, outmaneuver them and I guess 
make the missiles fight their destined uh, range and after that they will run out and well we have another um, medium sized anomaly over here shooting at the, these I guess Minmatar ships and well uh, we have trashers we have probes again and well this time um, I think I'm actually yeah there, there are actually more ships this time so this little ship will be under more fire now, um, since I'm a paranoid bastard, I'm a, I'm a really paranoid bastard in this game, especially when when the gate when the server is fucking lagging. Um, I did usually repair when I when I did usually enable the shield booster, um, seventy percent and up, just because in case the server lags out, the shield booster will remain active, and well, I will survive, since I'm kind of paranoid that the sh the server will lag out while uh, my ship gets shot at, and I will and I am unable to turn on the booster and I die <laughs> so I'm kind of paranoid about that but uh, this ship does hold out really good it's pretty stable so far uh, level 3 difficulty again and as you can see holding out pretty well they're hitting me with the missiles with the artillery whatnot and well uh, cap stable since I'm not using the afterburner much and I'm, not, I'm using the shield booster when I pretty much have to and it will be interesting when I encounter the level f level three big anomaly or the large anomaly. That that's where where stuff will be interesting since there will be a lot of ships jumping on me, and well I'll be in the middle of it. And well since I am I am pretty calm, <laughs> that means I survived. But things can get tricky, uh, especially when the server lag kicks in, since that server lag can mess people's day up. And I'm just saying this game currently is really laggy. And I don't know, maybe there maybe it's just because it's getting ready to be shut down. 80 86% shield left, pretty high up still. Um and here I think we have another server lag. Um the trash is almost down. 223 damage done, still fucking alive. And this is what I'm talking about. Like the server just lagged out and well, I'm just shooting at that thing. Finally it died interesting HP there let me orbit the probe or yeah it's the probe we did have breaches over here previously uh, okay graces now the frig now the tracking since I don't have a gyro stabilizer since well no modules no slots um, the tracking is a bit off for smaller targets uh, keep that in mind if you're using this setup that I have the tracking can be uh, the setup and the tracking can be a bit tricky but when it hits it hits and interestingly enough, um, they did not, no more ships jumped in, interesting. Um, uh, that might be a bug, since this is a medium anomaly, I expected more, but I guess there are no more coming in. Alright, well, uh, let me scoop this one wreck, and well, we can jump on to the next anomaly. And let me just check, yeah, there is no one, no one jumped in, interesting. Well. Alright, that's weird. Let me see what we have here. Okay, well, there are no large anomalies over here. That means, let me search another system. If I remember correctly, I saw a couple large anomalies in that system. We will see. If not, well, um, I'll just scout the, the areas and uh, there will be a little cut. And after that cut, well, we will be in a system where there is a, a large anomaly. And uh, lovely name of the system, um, nine. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? Uh, I still cannot believe the system is called nine. Nine, nine, nine. <laughs> that famous, famous Hitler scene in that movie just popped up in my head. I will have to rewatch it after this. After I, after I upload this, I'll have to rewatch that movie. I need to laugh. Oh man. All right, well. And jokes aside, let me, yeah, we're whopping in on, an, on a large anomaly over here. And we have probes and trashers. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, this is a large anomaly. I think, I really hope I did not see on what I did click. And, well, um, see this? Um, I cannot move. And they are shooting at me. And I cannot move. Lovely server lagging. Oh, at least I can align. But I still cannot orbit. Yeah, that kind of was weird. And I did take a couple hits there. Uh, yeah, I'm still taking hits. Alright, good. Good, my paranoia kicked in, so I turned on the shield booster. 
there we go. Now this I like this thing has like 20 kilometers range, 10 kilometers optimal range, and I am orbiting at 12 kilometers from them. Um, why? Because well, pretty much I noticed this ship is doing best damage at this distance, which is all right, um, is to be expected. All right, well, grazes. Maybe I should come in closer, um, but still, I am on the yeah. This is the optimal range, so sure, it should it it should work. And so far, uh, for the non-serious stuff in this game, this ship does hold out pretty well. And uh, and again, if you if you have a friend, for example, and if you if you're doing missions in a fleet or something like that, um, you can actually use this ship as a support ship or well as a secondary DPS. It can actually work. Uh, in fleets, uh, I can definitely see in the future uh, fleets filled with rifters, <laughs> that definitely can be the case. Since it's cheap to fly, um, it's pretty much, if you lose it, it's not a big deal. Um, the modules though, that, the, the, the modules can be a problem, since the modules fitted on this ship can be expensive. Like, the modules can be more expensive than the ship itself. But, in the future I can definitely see fleets made up of these ships, of course if they actually give this little thing at least one medium slot it would be enough for a warp scramble or something, um, but yeah, um, and again, oh there we go, I almost said that they will not warp in. So I think, well my personal thoughts on, on this game so far, I did enjoy it, like um, it almost feels like the PC version of the game. Now the thing that the things that pretty much don't feel like the PC version of the game is as you can as you can pretty much notice the bottom UI the modules the pretty much the non-existent ammunition in this game which uh, I fucking hate I want this game to have actual ammunition so I can reload weapons um, the the shield armor capacitor and pretty much that stuff I want to be like on the PC version of the game, since that would be that would be pretty, I guess, not nostalgic, but it would give the older players a feel for the game, like if they are playing actually Eve. And the modules, oh, the fucking modules! I'm just saying, those modules need to be like I at least give this little ship two more medium slots, and it would be working a lot better, and the build vari varieties would skyrocket. And of course, it needs rigs. At least three rigs on this. Uh, at least three. Um, I saw other ships have like six places for the rigs, like mechanical and engineering, something like that. But at least give this little ship three rigs or um, two each, two for each row, I guess. And it would make this ship a lot more useful. Um, it will make, I guess, building this ship a lot more, uh, I guess, fun and rewarding. Since so far, um, I kind of don't see me flying this ship for too long in this game. Like, I will use it, I will have it for, I guess, nostalgic purposes, but uh, can I use it for anything serious? Mm, not quite, since it physically lacks some some buffs and it physically lacks modules, slot, mo slots for modules. And that's the problem with this ship and pretty much problem with uh, majority of low tier frigates. Now all the the tier stuff um, I'm not a fan of. Just make the ships like in Eve Online, like in the PC version of the game, and um, it would be a lot better. Uh, <coughs> the buffs and the effects of the of the ships that that can they can change however they like. Not quite however, they, but that's at least to be balanced to some extent. Like we all know, the hybrids and the faction ones are the most powerful ships in the game. While the normal ones, tier 1, like this one, should be uh, somewhat accessible to majority of players. And should be at least more rewarding than it is right now, since this ship is truly wonderful. And, well, it has a reputation in the PC version of the game. Well, at least it had a reputation. Um, in this game, however, I don't think that this ship will have that reputation. Um, it will have, however, the physical aesthetics of the of the first one, as you can see. Um, it, this ship is truly, really beautiful, and I like its design a lot. Uh, and well, this now here I'm taking some some missiles, like, and it's still holding out pretty well. Uh, shield fell to 79. There we go. Paranoia kicked in. Shield booster kicked in. 
and it holds out pretty well against against these types of enemies and against this type of difficult level for anomaly. Same goes for missions. The, these types of missions should be easily done with this type of ship, with this ship currently that I'm flying. And well, low tier stuff definitely a big thumbs up. High tier stuff no. Um, uh, well, at least in this in this beta test, we will see what they will do with the next beta test. Maybe they change it. Hopefully, they will listen to to older players, and well, hopefully, they will repair the game. And well, not repair, but actually make it better and more enjoyable for for us who play the PC version for for a very long time. Okay, now we have these frigates. Those those, those breachers, I can I can tell you, those breachers can can fly missiles on you. At least they gave the breacher the proper weapon. The trash are still using missiles. Well, the breacher should use missiles. The trasher should not. Imagine if you would just wake up one day, uh, turn on the PC version of the game, and then you see your trasher with missiles. I think you would flip. <laughs> I think I would fucking take the PC, throw it out of the window. All right. Um, two more destroyers left. And okay, now I'm trying to have the ship in the view since. Um, some people said uh, my graphics it my, I'm using the highest possible graphic settings. Uh, I am playing on a phone, um, gaming phone. Um, it's a Xiaomi phone, yeah. <laughs> so I saw a comment mentioning it's Xiaomi. Yeah, it is a Xiaomi phone. And it runs this game pretty stable. Um, it's capped, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I think it's 30 frames per second capped, but I make it 60 for, well, for the viewer's pleasure, I guess, since, well, uh, for me, in my, in my eyes, 60 frames per second is a must. At least in the shorter videos. Longer videos can be forgiven since, well, uh, storage. <laughs> and the last destroyer over here uh, that's left. And, well, uh, my thoughts on this little ship, like I said before. Uh, I personally enjoy flying this little thing. Like, uh, I, I truly love this ship. I cannot lie. I do love this ship. And it's been, like... My my original like my original PC uh, my original PC uh, online um, my original PC Rifter on the on the PC game is still actually alive after so many years. Um, I think it's in Pator. It's in that system docked. Um, haven't been there in a while. Okay, but this little ship, my original one, is still alive. And that thing is old. <laughs> that thing is like what's been like 2011, like nine years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Or wait, what when I started the game? Oh, I, I actually forgot when I started the game. Well, it, it's definitely more than five years old. Okay, that little thing is old and it's still alive. Since well, uh, moved to Losec, Losec, and that's where that's where you live in the end game, I guess. All right, so let me loot this real quick. And well, this this little ship definitely has can still have more potential unlocked if the developers actually give us the option to. It's really cheap. It's, well, it's rewarding, but it's not rewarding to a level of the PC version of the ship, so if you come from the PC, game, PC, ver PC version of the game, don't expect too much of this little thing. Um, at least uh, currently, we will see what will happen in the next beta, but at this point, um, in this moment, this little thing is for low tier stuff. Um, eventually, well, only can be can be used in some fleets, I guess, as cheap damage, as as cheap as a cheap, I guess, DPS. It can work, since more, more like ten of these ships can like dish out a lot of alpha damage or a lot of DPS. Depends on how did you fit them. And well, that's pretty much it for this little thing. Um, one of my favorite ships in the game, definitely. And hopefully, hopefully the developers will at least give a couple more buffs, couple more modules to all frigates, not just this one, but to all frigates. Since I do, I really do want to uh, have a PC EVE Online experience on the phone, since, well, <laughs> my PC is fucked, alright, and I'm not, I don't have much time for the PC version of EVE, but I do have time for, for this game. Oh my god, that gave me a fucking heart attack, Jesus Christ. I thought my ship exploded for for no reasons. My god, fucking wreck. Oh man, well, I guess it's time to to end this video. Uh, that wreck, that exploding wreck scared me so bad. 
and well again I, I just have to look at this little thing <laughs> again the the turrets are were actually really funny they're just standing there like four pipes <laughs> what the fuck well anyway um, this was it for this little for this little frigate um, I really hope that this was kind of helpful and well looking forward to speak to you guys again take care and fly safe